Hey YouTube, first video ever, had some friends ask me to make some video of my snakes and all that, so here we go. Uh, I've got everything's in, got some animal plastics, 4x2s, and I'm not sure the brand, but those are 2x2s. I need a couple more cages, but that'll come soon. Everything's heated by Flex Watt for spot heat, and then we've got my dog, then you've got the radiator heater for ambient temperature. We'll go through my boas real quick. This is Nixon. He's an albino hit snow. Call. Needs a bigger cage, but he's pretty. He's ready to breed. And then we've got a possible super hypo Arab possible hit albino. Ooh, she's feisty. We'll leave her be. She's not big, but nobody ever wants to get bit. Here's her dad. This guy is an Arab Hypo Head Albino. Real pretty snake. Real small. I don't understand why he didn't. He just had a, a growth stunt when he was a couple, two years old, and that's it. He just never got bigger. He's only about four feet, and he was born in 08. But he's a breeding machine, so he'll stay. He's also got a great temperament. He's one of my favorites. Take a look at this girl again. She's she's pretty ready. Look at her. See the good look at that stripe. Look at that stripe on her tail. She's beautiful. One of my favorites. But if you're like me, all your snakes are your favorites. So then we got this girl. She's in shed. That's why her cage is so messy because she's not one to mess with when she's in shed. This is a a salmon hypo. 07. She's, you see her eyes, she's in blue there. But she's about six and a half, seven feet, proven. She's a beast, I love her. Then you got this girl here, Albino, hit snow. She's a uh, breeding age, she's be ready to breed this year. Really pretty, real well-tempered snake. And this one here who's waiting on her animal plastics cage is also a call hit, all, uh, hit anery or hit snow. And she'll be ready to breed this next year too. So pretty exciting stuff. But that's that's my setup in a nutshell. Room stays about 80 degrees in the off season. And I drop the temperature, you know, just with that. It's this This heater's pretty nice. It's got a controller where you can adjust the daytime and nighttime temperature. So once it's adjusted, it's pretty maintenance free. I live in the mountains and it gets you know negatives outside sometimes so keeping this room warm can be a bit of a hassle sometimes I have to turn it up keep the windows covered to help keep it warm in here but uh other than that man that's that's what I got I'm actually about to feed them here in a minute but to keep the video short I'm gonna make it a separate video just real quick uh, won't feed Asia the salmon because she's in shed but the rest will get fed today and uh that's what i got got any questions or anything like that i guess let me know